Hello crafters, today we're going to be creating giant flowers. For this you will need two big pieces of colored paper. Uh, it's pretty thick, the size of it is 22 by 28. Then some white paper, it can be any paper, fairly th um, thin. These elements I got from Dollaram, also a dollar, they're for the gift packaging. I have them in pink, slightly different color than the red and my handy stencil that is going to be down at, in the link description. I'm going to post it in there, print it out, and uh, you can use it to create the petals. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is cut out my biggest petal. Okay, for those of you who don't have my template, uh, the width of the widest area of the petal, of the largest petal, is 7.5 inches. The height is uh, seven and three quarters. Base is three and a half inches. Now what I need to do is cut out roughly estimating uh, my petals. I will need about eight of the largest petals. Now we're gonna take three of these pieces of paper because they're pretty thick actually four, put this on top and secure with our clip, okay, and now we're just gonna cut it out and after you do that, come in and cut in the middle, roughly up until the middle of the petal, so that later we can do, we can do the bending they become a little more 3D. Okay, so now we have our nine petals, nine large petals. What I need to do now is create the base. Base I'm gonna do out of, this is eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I am simply gonna create a circle in it. Doesn't need to be perfect, as you can see. <laughs> Move your base away. Let's work on glue gunning our larger petals in the middle so that they become nice and 3D. Put some glue and just hold it for a couple of seconds. Okay, so now we have nine petals that are large size and we're gonna assemble our first layer of the um, petals, the, out, the outer layer of the petals. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue, glue gun onto the circular base. So let's start with this one. Okay. Now the second petal is gonna go, I don't know, what is this, a couple of inches to the right. Try to figure out, because you have nine petals, try to figure out how well they will be spread around. I think if this is three, then another three here, another three here will fit pretty well. And here's our flower, first layer of it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the secondary petal. For those of you who are not doing it with my template or don't have uh, a way to print it, the widest part is six inches, the height is six and a half, and the base is um, slightly less than three inches, two and, two and three quarters. And now let's repeat what we just did with the large petal uh, with the medium size. Uh, for this, I'd say let's do eight petals. Bring back our big flower and we're gonna start, let's start gluing from somewhere over here. Start gluing the second layer. The key is to place the leaves slightly in front, so maybe right here, and in between the two petals. Next leaf overlaps the one before and is also again in between the two petals at the back. Okay. 
Here's our flower. Second layer done, and guess what? Now we're gonna do the third layer. Okay, so for the third layer, we're just gonna cut out our inside smaller petal. I'm also gonna do eight of these petals because I want it to be fairly rich inside. So here it is. For those of you who are not using my stencil, width is five inches, height is five and a half, base is two inches. Back to our mega flower and adding same small petals in the same way we were doing the middle uh, layer. So in between the two petals in slightly in front. So here is our amazing lovely large flower. Now what we need to do is do the middle. I have this cool gift bow from Dollarama and they are perfect to go inside this is this is really great I just want to have a little bit of a color separator in a form of a white outline over here so that's what I'm gonna do next so I have this eight, eight and a half by eleven piece of paper that I'm going to cut in half and now I'm gonna tape it over here okay now that it's taped let's fold it Fold it inside where the tape is, so we don't see the tape later on. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, it's, it's, it's okay if it's a little bit off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flower and we're gonna measure roughly how much of this white outline we need. I'd say about, about here. So I'm gonna cut this off, we don't need that much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start cutting all the way along this, um, this strip. So here it is. This is where it folds. You need to start cutting over here, but not all the way to the end. Leave maybe uh, half an inch. And the closer the cuts are, the more intricate the flower is going to look. So now here we have all the way along this line. So what you need to do is you need to take scissors and we need to now bend it towards one way. So kind of press down where the blade of the scissors are, but make sure the scissors are closed. And try to create... A curvature so that these things curve as you see over here now let's bring back our flower place it roughly where you want it and now start gluing it down with the glue gun okay it's looking nice here it is glued down and the last step will be taking all of these things for the gifts and actually I'm going to remove the self-adhesive part and now I'm going to put three large spots of glue gun actually why don't I just put glue gun kind of everywhere and place these things on top And here it is, the final piece. It's looking amazing. I absolutely love how it turned out. The very last thing I wanna show you is how to attach it to the wall. Okay, so flip the flower over, take the string, any string that you have, I found this. So here it is. Crisscross it over here. Find the same color paper. This is about business card size, so three by four inches. Sorry, three by two inches. And lots of glue, of course. And now 
some more glue on top. And let's press it down. And here's our final large flower. Very happy with how it turned out. Uh, I'm gonna go now and create another smaller flower. It will be the part two of this series.